What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Bass with Watts and today I have a special surprise for you guys. I ordered some stuff from Delaware Paddle Sports out in Delaware. Um, got the package here. We're going to open her up. You guys can see it. Right there. There's the package. Holy cow. What I ordered. But I just want to thank the guys over at Delaware Power Sports for this package. Um, I ordered it on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. I ordered it on Sunday. I was in the need of some new stuff for my kayak. Um, what I ordered wasn't in stock and it wasn't going to be in stock until I guess like several months out. They were on super back order. So they were real nice. They hit me up. Um, they let me know that it wasn't in stock and we were able to do some kind of exchange and stuff like that. So I appreciate that from you guys. Um, but this is what we're gonna get into. This package right here is my new, my new, uh, I guess, cart. And I ordered some other stuff, so let's pop her open and then see what's inside. All right, all right, let's go ahead and pop her open. I don't really have much in area to do unboxing, so. I'm sitting on my Yeti cooler, but I gotta take this stupid vest off. Just got off of work, so yeah. But I'm gonna pop this back over and see what's inside. Totally gonna cut my fingers. So, what I was saying is that. It came on Sunday and it got here today. Today's Wednesday. So, pretty quick shipping when you guys order from there. Got one tire. So what I actually ordered was um, the Hobie HD cart. I was having a little bit of issues with my current cart. Um, I guess the aluminum on it was like bending and stuff, and it just made it really difficult to transport the Hobie kayak. And like, if you've seen some of my other videos, the there's like not enough clearance. So when I put a lot of weight onto the kayak, it actually like sits down, and the tires end up rubbing. So when you guys are getting a cart, just you gotta almost like test it out before you guys buy the cart. Because some of the carts don't work for certain kayaks. Tire number two. And I guess the HD cart holds, I mean it holds a lot of weight. So I got a bunch of fishing stuff that I always take with me when I go fishing. So I wanted to get the HD cart. I was gonna go with the beach wheels just because I go over a lot of like soft terrain, I mean hard terrain and different unevenness, like unle unlevel ground and stuff like that, but I think this is gonna work fine for me. So this is the cart here with the tires. I guess we just pop these on. Yeah, there's some screws inside. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on. And what's really cool about this is that my cart now doesn't have it and it annoys the crap out of me. When I pull it off my truck, it's like a pain in the butt to get the cart to stay onto the Hobie kayak. So what Hobie did is they have this. So you take this, I guess you lock it in here just like this. So that just stays into the scupper hole um, and it keeps it from sliding out, which is great because I, I used to have the, what was it, the sea tug? Um, but the sea tug was just a little bit of pain in the butt too, because you almost have to like hold it there and then put the straps and then all this stuff. This I could just pop it, pop it through the scupper, lock it, and then leave it. And uh, I just think this is going to be a better option for me. So we can go ahead and get this set up and on the kayak. And the next thing that I bought here is 
the Gerber Gerber Neat Freak braided line cutter. You guys can see here. Got those. Pop these open real quick. I just wanted a good pair of scissors or line cutters on the kayak. And then just pretty much a versatile tool to cut anything, honestly. So, pop this open real quick. Oh my god. Cannot get this thing open. See, if I was using the scissors, this would be easier. Instead, I'm using the Gerber knife. And this doll. There we go. We got that. Precision cuts. Precision cuts, micro separated blades keep line clean and unfreed. I typically use these, but the last time I went fishing, it's in my tooth. That 15 pound fluoro is uh it's brutal on your teeth, so I suggest getting something like this. But these look pretty cool. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's, uh, let's cut some line. See how they work. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you can see the line. Oh, right there. Oh, right in front of my shirt. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at the butter. That's a braid line now. All right, braid line. Score. So that was actually like 10 pound uh, mono. So this is the braided line. Check that out. Oh wow. Like butter. Dig that. And they weren't joking about it. clean cut. Yeah, it's like the worst when you cut braid and you got those little stragglers and you go to, uh, what is it, tie your knot and stuff like that, and you can't can't fit the braid into the, the little hole of the bait or whatever you're trying to tie to, it's just a pain in the butt. And so it definitely leaves like a clean cut there. If you guys can see it. There you go. So, cool, pretty stoked about these. I think I'm gonna put a little uh, carabiner strap on there, it's got a little area right here you can strap something to. So I know there's some accessories on the kayak. Actually, you know what? I got a gear right here. Boom. Check this out. Nope. Nope. Doesn't fit. Dang it. Dang it. All right. Well, we'll figure that out later. We're gonna go ahead and get this cart together and uh, yeah. So I just want to show you guys what I'm working with here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the clearance on this thing is just like, it's annoying. I don't understand, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that Hobie card on and see the difference here. Like, check that out, dude. Got like a four inch lift here. Or two inch, I don't know. But, yeah. Rolls pretty nice. I was like moving around the garage. But, yeah. Looks pretty good. Super stoked about it. So, we'll see how she does. I'll have a full in depth review after I take it out a couple times. So, you guys can see here. But. So thank you guys over there at Delaware Delaware Paddle Sports for hooking me up with this stuff um, really quick when I ordered it. So appreciate you guys. We're going to have a more in-depth review of this in a later video, the Gerber Scissors. And then I'm going to talk about later on um, the HD cards. So I just want to show you what I got, what I got in the mail today and kind of like the reasons why I got it. But yeah, stay tuned until next time guys. Keep fishing. See you guys later.